All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. Today, we're going to be doing an introduction to the core principles of modding. I've got maybe two or three core principles that I want to share with you, and this will serve as an introduction to the modding phases, is, which is the series that I will be releasing while I am enjoying some much-needed family time at the uh, on vacation. So, uh, we're going to be going to the beach here. So, going to try and get some videos out while I'm there, but going to get at least, you know, you guys will see me in this outfit and location twice here so try and get two videos out so please like and subscribe comment down below let me know your thoughts let's give a shout out to our channel members for continuing their support keeping the faith and just you know appreciating their input as i navigate uh, content creating and fumble through the awful title cards that i do have so thank you guys again very much appreciated link down below along with the link to discord go check it out let's get into this video talk about modding All right, so we're going to switch over to the screen capture here. Whoops. And of course, I blocked that out because I'm a moron. There we go. All right, so I'm going to move my fat face. I think it's okay here, actually. So I will be linking this Google spreadsheet in the actual mod phases. So you have to wait another video before this is fully available yet. So I do want to give a huge shout. A lot of the screen grabs I for some of these are from the Swiggo wiki page. So thank you guys for having a really good library. Um, so I want to just start off kind of with the simple thing here that, you know, it's skill when luck becomes a habit. I say this a lot, and this is another way to kind of say patience. And it's another way to kind of say, listen, guys, when you are modding and you are consistently getting lucky, you're doing something right. If you are consistently getting good mods, you're doing something correct. If you're consistently getting bad mods, you're doing something wrong. That you should see a pattern with your modding. I'm not, by good mods, I'm not talking about those 25 speeds right off the bat. But if you're consistently getting mods with good secondary stats and good speed, there's something you're doing correct. Where I want to start kind of moving to, and what I need you guys to think about here, is when you're thinking about mods that are good, you need to keep a couple of key things in mind. So number one, your primary stats on the left hand side here your square diamond and circle you are locked in almost locked in right with this with the diamond and the square it is defense and offense there's no other secondary there's no other primaries you can get and on the circle it's health or protection so when you're thinking about modding you can be very picky with your secondary stats for these mods it's a lot easier to get picky because you don't have to contend with as many primary stats. So it's easier to find those quote unquote unicorn mods because you don't have to contend with all of these other primary stats that can be a possibility and then the secondaries on top of it. So very much, you know, focus here to really get those like insane mods that you see. Right? And this is the and this is kind of going to kind of how you differentiate characters and the mods that go on them is on the left hand side it's through secondary stats that your attackers and your tanks are going to almost look identical you know on the left side in terms of you know the what you know offense defense and then a health or protection it's the secondary stats here that make the difference and will determine is that mod good for a tank attacker or whatever on the right hand side you can customize the primaries and the secondaries and so these primaries down here in blue are ones that are only available for that shape so for all of the shapes here for the arrow triangle and cross you can get health protection offense and defense those stats are can be on any one of those for your cross you can add in tenacity and potency for whoops what the heck just happened there there we go for your triangle you can get critical chance and critical damage and then for your arrow you can get speed accuracy and crit avoidance so Again, here, what I'm trying to get across to you guys is that, you know, outside of, you know, you know what skill and luck becomes a habit in terms of trying to customize your characters, you can get picky over here, but over on this side, it's a lot harder to get quite as picky because you're going to try and find that quote unquote perfect mod. And it's a lot harder because if you get a protection mod with, you know, defense percent, health percent and speed, as a secondary, are you really going to try and find that one that also has tenacity or offense percent? You know, are you just going to take what you can get and run with it? So 
um, I did want to make sure that I did want to bring that up because that is a very important thing to note. Otherwise, before we move on to, you know, your sets here and, you know, kind of going over some of these shapes, keep in mind, anything that is a, that is the primary stat cannot be a secondary. So if you have health percent as the primary stat, you cannot get health percent as a secondary. You can get flat health, but not percent. If you have speed as the primary, you cannot get it as the secondary. So I did want to break, you know, make sure that you guys have that clear understanding there. So that way you're not trying to find an offense percent primary and secondary mod because they don't exist. Now, in terms of your sets, these are, you know, hey, all you want to pay attention to is the maximum here, right? This is saying, hey, this is the maximum benefit you'll get from a single set. Critical damage, offense, and speed each take four mods to create a set, while everything else is two mods to a set. What that means is you could have a health set, a defense set, and a tenacity set. And you would have 25% defense, 10% health, and 20% tenacity. If you went with a speed set and a potency set, you'd have 10% speed and 15% potency. And you do the math the rest of the way. So you can mix and match that way, or you can go all out health or whatever, and you're just going to get, you know, 30% health instead of 10 what I want to do is give a shout out here to a guy in the Sigma server named Femi. And this, this was a really good thing that he brought up. When you are equipping a set to a character, and we're going to flip over to the game here for this. When you're equipping a set onto a character, bear in mind that you are, in a way, sacrificing stats. So take my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. By equipping a speed set and a health set, by particularly the speed set, I'm sacrificing the amount of offense he can get. So I'm saying that, you know what, the speed that I'm equipping on Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is worth more than the offense percent I would get from having an offense set on him. I'd rather have the speed. If you're making that decision that speed is more important, then you better have some speed on your mods. You better have some pretty fast mods on that character in order to warrant the speed. And my Kylo is even a little slow at 571 because this mod's pretty slow. And I mean, at 22 over here isn't great, but... You know, on the flip side, someone like Ray, I've got an offense set on her and then I don't have a speed set. So I better see some good offense numbers on these mods in order to make it worth having offense on her, right? That, you know, if you're going to sacrifice that mod, if you're going to equip that set, you better be taking advantage of the stats that's, you know, you're putting on there. Like if I go to my Sith Assassin, because she's a terrible example, like... I have a speed set on her. I mean, this is only 14 speed. Look, nine speed there is trash. 10 speed, like nine speed. I didn't get great speed rolls here. I went for it. I tried and we'll talk about those in later. But that that's an example of a bad way to use speed mods because I'm not really taking advantage of that speed set. Those are all slow mods that I could put other mods on there and get, and get a better advantage out of that. So if you're going to run a speed set, make it fast. Now, fast is going to be relative to your account. A good mod for my account is may be a great mod for yours. And a great mod for my account could be a good mod for somebody else. Um, and, you know, and the reason I say, you know, shout out Femi for that is he kind of brought that up and was, and he went into a, much, a lot more detail at the time into all the different analysis of how much you're valuing things. But the concept was, if you're going to mod for offense, go all out on the offense. Don't skimp out. And this kind of goes into this matching principle. So if you are going to pick out a primary mod, like your primary stat here, it should match the set pretty well. The, you know, the example, and the one set here that I would say you can use a little bit differently is um, speed and uh, health. Those two can kind of get a lot of different stats because you're just trying, in that case with speed, you just want them to have the good secondary stat. And that's the other side of the matching is the secondaries. Uh, for speed sets, you know, you need to match that speed with it. You're not, you know, the primary is what it is. But let's take a, you know, offense set, for example, right? If you're going to run an offense set on a character, I want to see offense percent, right? And on the flip side, if it's a secondary stat, I want to see offense percent. You know, think of like a tenacity, I want to see tenacity. Potency, I want to see potency. Um, you know, offense and offense there, right? Um, you know, speed, again, I just want to see fast secondaries, right? I just want to see good secondary speed 
to warrant that mod. You know, critical chance and damage, we want to see some offense, right? Um, so that's kind of the matching principle, if you will, that you want to match your mod sets. You don't want to have these, like, this one on trenches here just because it's fast, but, like, this tenacity with a health set just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, I should just run a health, I should just run a tenacity set at this point. Um... I want to find another good example because I know I've got them on someone here. Um, oh, let's go. I know there's somebody down here who's got a bad set or something. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's you. Yeah, so like my Veers here with this mod. Protection, a potency set with protection. Like just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If you're going to mod for potency, hammer the potency and put the actual potency primary there. So again, I just I, that is a very key thing that you need to recognize. And that all builds into these mod farming phases that having this understanding of mods will make it easier for you in the future, right? And then finally, the last thing that you need to you know think about here is your secondary, your primary and secondary stats as a whole. Particularly what we want to look at here is the difference between five to six dot. Because that's a big part of modding, is when you are slicing, knowing which mods to take up from 5 dot to 6 dot first is extremely important. So, where I want you to really pay attention is health. Health is the biggest jump. You're going from 5.8 to 16%. The only other mod that's close to that is accuracy, and that's kind of a mm, stat, so I kind of ignore it. But health is the best jump. So, almost every character, if they have health mods on them, and that's a health primary mod... I'm slicing that first because I want to get that health number up and running as much as I can. Otherwise, you know, I have another thing down here that you guys can take a look at. Order to six dot. Um, you know, offense and defense percent are both very, very good to take immediately. Just kind of depends on if it's a tank or not. Critical damage, tenacity, potency are all solid stats. Uh, speed arrows. I'm not a big fan of speed arrows getting sliced early. Only because... When you slice a speed arrow, you're only able to gain, if you look at the, uh, I don't know why I'm going to the game. Stay over here, Phil. What are you doing? If you look, you go from 30 to 32, so you gain two speed. But when you slice up a secondary stat, that speed gains one automatically. And again, we'll get into this in later mod phases. But when you slice a mod and try to roll better stats, you can roll additional speed that you can't get on that speed arrow. So that's kind of why I like to, you know, ignore speed arrows a little bit. And then protection is last because it's a half a percent. Now, the other side to slicing mods up that you've got to be cognizant of is your secondary stats also increase. Now, your biggest increase here comes from offense percent. Offense percent jumps up 202% when you go from 5 dot to 6 dot. Defense percent takes the silver with 134% of an increase. And health takes bronze with 77% increase. Those three stats are so incredibly important. So if you have a mod that's got offense percent on it and it's five dot, rolling it to six dot makes that number go up by, you know, kind of 200%. I mean, that's huge, right? That's a massive, massive boost. Where I really want you to pay attention in terms of secondary stats here. Look at speed. We'll start at the bottom here. Speed. You can theoretically get a 31 speed secondary mod. Which means that that is one speed slower than a primary mod. The reason that's important, if you guys, you know, kind of were paying attention there to my Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. If you look at the way that I had him modded. Oops, that's Lord Vader. I had a 24 speed arrow up here. With 16% health and 5% offense. I'm trying to take advantage of the fact that, you know what? I'm getting roughly, what, 75% of the speed that I need from this mod, right? 75% or something like that from the mod. I'm getting 16% health, so I'm getting a full health primary with 24, I'm missing 8 speed, and then I have an extra 5% offense on this mod. And if you look at an offense primary, it's 8.5. So I'm trying to take advantage of certain stats, and the reason I know that is because this table, right, tells you that Offense percent can theoretically get to eight and a half percent, and then defense can theoretically get to 20. And if you look over here at the primary stat table, you'll see that defense is 20 and offense is eight and a half. So, offense percent and defense percent 
are best as secondaries from the standpoint that theoretically they can reach the same amount as a primary. Now they will not, right? I don't have a single 20% defense secondary and eight and a half percent offense secondary. So you're still going to get more offense by using primary stats. But on certain characters, it may be worth trying to mod for that health or protection with really good offense percent, knowing that, yeah, you might not have as much offense, but you're getting a whole other stat on top of it, plus the speed. Again, we're going to save that for later on. We'll talk about how to you know identify that, but I wanted to mention it now. The last thing to note here in this video, I have different, hey, roughly these are the stats that characters want. So I have two different kinds of attackers, your speed and DPS. A speed attacker would be someone like Commander Tano, comparative to Starkiller, who's DPS. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren versus Rey, right? The Supreme Leader Kylo Ren likes to be faster, and Rey really wants to have that damage per shot. Mara Jade versus Dark Trooper, speed versus damage per shot. And that I kind of ranked the importance of secondary stats. You can kind of see how they differentiate here. With tanks... Again, speed's still important, but not nearly as much as your health and defense. And then healers and supports like their speed. And then it just kind of changes up depending that with healers, you normally want to keep them alive. Where with other supports, we want to have them being able to land debuffs and things like that. So that's the end of the introduction to the mod principles, guys. Understanding your primary stats, your secondary stats, the matching principle, and of course, having that patience, knowing that it's skill when luck becomes a habit. Let me know your thoughts. I love you all. May the force be with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, my friends.